Before we're going to start this episode, I just have to say that I've been recording so much that I have to cut this episode into two pieces. We have 27 days, 6 hours, 28 minutes and 40 seconds left to go in this game before this meteor starts hitting the planet. We have a lot of time left and uh, for today I would like to make a fisher house, unlock the hunting skill. I would like to see if we can catch some fish. I would like to know what is down below in the ocean. We're going to have a little bit of an exploration. But before doing that I would like to show you my off camera stuff. And with that being said, I've got a question for you guys. Would you rather like me to show the off-camera stuff at the beginning of an episode or at the end of an episode? I'm very curious. Uh, but for today, I'm going to show it at the beginning. I've been doing a lot of stuff. And as you can see, I'm at this spot right down here. And uh, you can see the start of a mega construction building. So this is going to be my office building. I have already started building uh, the garage basement type of deal down here. Now the way to get up is from this side. Here will be the entrance, I think. This is going to look cool. I just want to place down some statues. I want to place down some potteries or, you know, something that will fit in. Um, also, I got a little mine down here because I'm going to need to have a lot of sand for mortar. I'm going to need to have a lot of sand for concrete. And I start making a little mine. Now, I came across some sandstone right down here. So I'm going to go around the corner. And if I'm not wrong, there should be a lot of sand that way, which I can actually tell by the look of the beach. Um. I've also been start building or planning the roads. So this road is going to go straight up here. And then the road is going to go around the corner. and going to go down here. I also started doing some ramping and digging down here. The reason for that is that sooner or later we are going to make the... Let me just say the pollution kind of industry down here. Uh, the reason for that is I want to have it far away from the ocean, a little bit away from all the green kind of stuff in the rivers. I think this spot down here would be perfect to, let me just say, pollute. And um, there is a little bit of desert left after that, but there is also a desert island. So I'm not going to completely destroy all the desert to that stuff. I just would like to show you the side of the beach. Um, I've done a little bit stuff at the farm area and then we are going to um, build our deal. Thank you. And um, yeah, here is the spot. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of sand only at the sides, right? And over this side, you can see that sandstone is merging with the sand. So that's why I'm... Um, kind of right down here, start to dig sandstone. Now I've also been working on to my mind just a little bit. I didn't continue any further because I really would like to show you that I've actually found a iron vein, which is right around the corner. I start to find this stuff down here and this is uh, apparently iron. I thought let's dig a little bit more deeper and then go around the corner. And there you go, a lot of this iron. Now I will start digging deeper and deeper down here. But what I will do at this side is making a little bit straight, 4x4. Four four, then go around the corner and then I'm just going to dig out everything straight. It will make sense at some point. Yeah, for now you just have to, you know, use your imaginary for a little bit. Anything else didn't really change out here. I did make a lot of these bricks. Um, I have been already making a bloomery with the kelm, which the kelm we are going to use in order to bake bricks. We're going to use that for the brick factory. Uh, but I just wanted to make this guy just to see what it's going to offer us. And an anvil is something I'm going to need sooner or later too at the uh, iron industry. Down here, I'm going to make the clay factory probably in the episode tomorrow. I made it upwards or you know like this for a reason i just want to have a little bit of more different kind of levels and it's also because uh in the back there is like a very big wall and i just wanted to even out stop a little bit probably i'm going to end up making a ramp on this side and then on the top we're going to make our clay factory type of deal with a few couple of stockpiles 
nothing too much, nothing too less. And down here, I just made a little dump store building, you know, just to dump some of the stuff that I'm having. I don't know where to drop it. Um, there will be like a little alleyway to the beach. And the only thing that I don't like about this building is uh, the side of the roof there. So what I'll probably end up doing is make a little tailoring building that look exactly like that one down here. And then I'll just uh, continue the roof to that building. And then on this side where we're going to make the cement factory, I will just build the building against the tailoring building. So we won't notice anything of the uh, ugly side of the roof at all. All right, that is that. And up here, I've also been working on to, by the way, these stones will be different because there is dark stone and there is this light stone. I just have to find a way how to get this dark stone though. I've been working on to the farm area. I've been flattening out all of this land. I've been filling in the land down here because it was like a deep gap. And I've been placing all my seeds and foods that I don't use right down here. Did that? No. Um yeah, the only thing that I need to take care of is cutting down the trees that want to grow down here. And also what I've noticed with this game is besides getting the um the layer up of let me just say fertile ground, yeah, the road is gonna go that way towards this area because I'm going to need to mine at each area or different biome to get different resources. Um yeah, the nicest thing that I know is show overlay in main view. So if I click this on, you get the stuff to see in your world, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so at this little sand area down here, I want to build my farm house and of course a, um, a place where I can store my harvester and there will probably some silos here and there. Uh, but as you can see, this ground is just perfect in order to, um, you know, grow some stuff. Uh, this is going to be the farm area down here, which is very nice. Um, anything else? If we're going to build our little uh, fishery, and this road is going to go up until here, and then we're going to tunnel it out until this side. I just went around, and I start digging here, and... Everything that I digged, I just dropped behind me until I came down here. So I know I just need to fix the road until here. And then I'm going to tunnel it. Then I'm going to go up here. And whatever we're going to do here. Because I think there will be some resources here. Some resources there. And the same goes for this road. I'm going to go until here. Tunnel it through the snow area. And then I'm settled on each biome. Uh, for all the needy needs that I'm going to need. Also, I've tried to get some more balance in my uh, food because for a lot of the episodes, my food was unbalanced and um, that made me miss out on a lot of extra points. Um, I left my game running for a little while to get some of these points um, because I'm going to need the points for the pottery. I'm going to need to have points for... Uh, farming area and all kinds of things so balancing it out is very good and also the brick factory is going to be neat because i believe brick is a tier two maybe and on the top of that i want to start building out with brick and i would like to also make a better housing inside that building so I can take care that these housing points will give me more than 51 plus. This is going to be super handy uh, to progress a little bit faster than I do right now. Because I need to hope for tomorrow, and I think it will work out, that I'm just getting one extra point for the brick factory. We can go into pottery and stuff. Anything here? Mm, well, let's take a look. I'm thinking of it. Let me just um where's the door left out? Let me just quick take a look at the fishing. Fish fishery. Because there is something that I do not understand. Um for the butchery it says butchery allows for more usual products to harvest from hunted animals and fish. So it talks about fish. But when I click on hunting, it doesn't say anything about fish. But 
when I go down into the general uh, guy, it says fishery requires hunting one. So, yeah, let me just unlock hunting one, which I already learned to scroll by default. So now I have unlocked this guy. I should be able to. Uh, yeah, and when you unlock stuff, apparently. It removes to this spot. Very good. Let's order one fishing workbench. Then we're gonna bring it with us already. And then, uh, yeah, let's see what we can all make. I believe, you know, of course, a fishing rod, maybe fishing cages. So we can just drop them down, uh, have a little wait a few days, and then it's full with fish. Because fish is apparently very good with uh, the balance of. Uh, protein and fat. So now the uh, carb is 2.3, the vitamin is 2.5, the protein is 1.6, the fat is 1.7. So I'm going to need to eat something that contains more protein than fat and contains more carbs and vitamins. I believe it's this one. Don't contain any vitamins at all, that's very good. This one contains more protein than fat, so should be able to balance this out a little bit more. That's very good. Okay, the uh, fishery stuff is done. I'm just going to take a real quick nap. I'm not going to build like a massive building. It just... I only need like the fishery stuff. Um, so far I can think of. Maybe. Uh, if I really need to build some other stuff. Um, like fishing cages. I could just go to this place I think. Um, I'm not expecting the requirements to be steel or copper or... Yeah, it's going to be quite a thing to discover where can I get what kind of metal resources. I did already find the iron, but where I'm going to get copper, where I'm going to get gold, where I'm going to get... You know, what's another type of uh, deal that I'm going to need? Copper, gold, iron, and something more. Um, anywho, I believe this thing needs to be, look at that, That's... I like details, I like details, uh huh, uh huh, that's kind of cool, alright, yeah it needs to be within a room of at least 25 square meters, uh, here we get all the uh, fish stuff, Fishing traps, that's what it's called. Uh, we can have kelp, fishing poles. Kelp needs kelp, that's logic. We need just wood, urchines. You look at the protein of fat, holy smokes. Clam. So yeah, fish is mainly fat and protein. I don't know if that sounds logic. A lot of just seven and three, and uh, that's very good. In this case, let's start building the fishery house. Just going to dump these chests in there. Uh, I already prepared with a lot of um, wood. Now, one thing I'm not going to do is, you know, dig out an area because that's not neat. Uh, fishing houses are most of the time onto poles, so that's very good. And uh, let me think, how wide does it need to be? Uh, the inside couldn't be 5, so that means 6, 7, uh, wide as a road. Um, let me just, that's very deep. Okay, I think, I think, 3, 2, 1, and place. <laughs> uh, this is actually not what I wanted to use, but it's fine. Okay, 3 high, and then, oh, 4 high. Yeah, um, building in the water is not the most stable thing to do, but it's fine. And uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, I guess. Um, yeah. Let's make a dock of three white, I would say. And then... Uh, you know what, I can better do that on top. Let's first make the ground for the house. So that is uh, one, two. 
I'm still really, really, really enjoying the game. It's uh, one of the better building games I've ever played. Of course, you have Minecraft, but the point with Minecraft is you're continuously getting attacked and trouble, and uh, it's just. This is so peaceful. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Five white, and number six for the wall. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think one more. One more. All right, very good. Um, yeah, I wanted to say let's already build some stuff, uh, but I won't be able to do that. Oh yeah, snapping turtles, sharks, tuna, bass, or base. Okay, um... One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, that's right. Let me just first put up the, um, the house itself with some walls to mark it out so I don't continuously have to check out what I'm going to need. Um, mm -hmm. Then let's get into this stuff. Very handy. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, the brick factory. Um, after the brick factory, I would like to go a little bit more into the iron stuff, and um, I said that I wanted to do marking first. One, two, three, four, five, six, so right down here, and that is mark it off, right down there. All right, uh, yeah, I'm going to need to go into certain machinery, Um, you have like the old industrial machinery, which is work on coal, if you would. And then you have the industry, industrial stuff, which work with electronics. Um, the coal industry should give me a nice little, um, what is that? A tuck or a tiki. That was called tiki uh, truck. Um, like a, a bicycle deal with a big, um, big space behind it. I don't know how to call it. Uh, but yeah, this this guy should give me a lot of uh, more space. Um, to okay, this is not going to work. Let me just put it on this guy. Come on, don't be afraid. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, this should give me the opportunity to move stuff quicker and further um also i would like to get into um the electronics for an excavator or a mini digger i don't know what that thing is called uh, so i can dig a little bit faster because i do notice that shoveling stuff is starts to be a little bit primitive at this moment and takes a lot of time um mining though takes less of time because i've been upgrading my uh, mining stuff uh, at the beginning you need to um hit rocks like two times and then what also happens is um if you're lucky the rock will break into four pieces you can carry those four pieces if you're unlucky the rock will break into two small pieces and one big piece now the whole point with this ah ocean building is not the best as yet. Um yeah, if you get one big piece, that means you need to cut that one big piece again. And then you get two smaller pieces and then you can move everything. Um but now I have unlocked two skills. One of the skills take care that I only have to cut a rock once, and or I got a skill that always makes sure that the rock uh, breaks into or smaller pieces, so that goes really quick. Um, but for the uh, for the shovel, I don't really have anything just yet, which is a little bit of a shame. I wish that the shovel might require, um, or you know, gives you an option to 
<sighs> uh, to shovel more shovels before your shovel is full, something like that, or... Yeah, I don't know, something that, that makes it shoveling a little bit more easier and less a primitive. Be very handy. So a little duck. I have also been reading that this game is going to get boats because I was already wondering something about boats. Now, I know this map isn't that big, but you know, the same goes for cars. The map is not that big, but cars are very handy. And boats could be handy too if you need to move from one island to another island. I'm just going to close this completely off. Um, they will also add in or planning to add in trains. And I think that is going to be super interesting. Uh, if it would be like minecart type of trains, like a very tiny wagons. Um, or it's really going to be minecart type of deals where you cannot really make like multiplying wagons attached to each other or it's really going to be like you can make like a locomotive which is going to be super awesome actually okay. there's one more layer of these and then we're going to start building um the roof on it let me just already place this guy indoors 